okay today's gonna be uh, I'm going to upload a, a short tutorial um, with the old uh, security uh, issues that keep popping up on the internet um, it's a quick way if you use Chrome to lock your browser and keep um, all your history and uh, every single one of your profile cook everything uh, safe uh, from wandering eyes and uh, what this is what it looks like and um, when you launch the Chrome and as you, as you can see I didn't launch anything it shows you um, your profile and uh, you click on it you type in your password now this also enables multiple users and uh, what this uses is your Google account so once you click on it you type in the password to your Google account it will open up so what I'm going to do is um, type in my Google account password and uh, it loads up um, my history so wherever I left off that's where it is gonna show up and um, in order to set this um, you're gonna type in and the uh, address bar and you're gonna type in Chrome uh, colon uh, forward slash uh, twice and then flags and uh, once you click enter it will give you this menu and now uh, you want to scroll down to new profile management and uh, the best way to do that is control F and just search for profile and um, the first one that shows up usually it is and uh, what you want to do is um, enable that and uh, at default is gonna say default now default doesn't do anything since you didn't enable so once you enable it it will ask you to relaunch on the bottom once you click the relaunch button you have this option right uh, on top of your photo that lets you actually lock the account uh, lock uh, your browser um, keep all your information safe and um, is to me to my option is a, is a added security that I believe uh, people should start using especially if you share your laptop or your computer with uh, another person boyfriend girlfriend uh, family members it doesn't matter as long as um, your computer is being shared with another person is is a good thing to have this and uh, once you lock um, it's not that the browser can no longer be used it can still be used uh, somebody who is not you doesn't have your password can use it as a guest mode and it's we just load up regular uh, Chrome and what you have here is when you search you most likely won't be able to even use history um, you won't be able to bring up um, the history the download files is empty and um, as you can see empty on the history and um, to log, uh, log back in uh, you exit guest and then same thing again and type in your password you're good to go and um, that concludes the, uh, the tutorial and I uh, hope it helps and um, use it uh, it's one of the few things that Google has been providing for a long time a lot of stuff people actually don't know exist and uh, this is not a extension this is actually part of Chrome it comes with this so you're not adding extra layer of crap onto your Chrome and you can keep your Chrome as simple as you want it's just something that Google put in the system but didn't make it as a did they activate it and makes it your own option to activate it whether you want it or not and uh, uh, I, I, I recommend that you activate it and start using it and that concludes the tutorial. Um, have a nice day.